It is the 21st of September 2018, so that we don't forget that. I'm here at Sekem in Egypt. My name is Ranghil Nilsson. I come from Norway. And we are here gathered, a group of like-minded people, uh, to honor the University of Dignity, to honor Dignity, but also uh, to talk about different topics around the Dignity. The dialogue we have had and uh, the partner I have had in this is Helmi Abulej from Sikkim in Egypt. And uh, what we have been talking about in the dialogue with the other group has to do with mind and meta, consciousness. How can we say that a tomato from organic farming is better than a tomato from non-organic farming. Is there, are there life forces involved? Are there true costs involved that are very important for the people in the world to know? So what I want to uh, uh, contribute and uh, maybe also communicate to people listening outside our little group here <coughs> is that I find very often that we do not dare to look into these deeper questions and really ask if academics around the world, if business people around the world, if you and I around the world take the lead and say, I want that tomato that is healing that didn't kill anybody and that is in the true cost of everything is helping me to having a better life. I want to honor the people who put this tomato on the earth and I want to honor the life forces. That might seem like a very simple thing. But I have seen through years and also in the cooperation with Sekem in Egypt that this is really a consciousness, awareness, and in the daily work, it takes great braveness. So Helmi and the community of Sikkim has made this possible. And uh, participating in this dialogue, you put maybe also a deeper question into it. What would you say to the world? First of all, I I'm very happy that I could participate today and I welcome obviously all the participants and everyone watching this video now very much to this conference. I think the topic is very important and it's a topic which uh, will gain importance over the years to come. Uh, I Today in the afternoon when we had this discussion, wow. uh, I think that this discussion of matter and mind is a very interesting one and we had an inspiring discussion with many different dimensions. Mm. The one uh, thing which we all agreed on is that yes there is something beyond matter and uh, this something beyond matter whether it's called life force, soul or spirit which was well known to the people in previous centuries which we lost in the two centuries of natural science and which we will have to reconnect to in a way, in a new way. Uh, this is uh, something which uh, will add a deeper meaning to what we research for. We called this today holistic research, aligned research between natural science, human, humanistic science and uh, spiritual science. And I believe that there is already a lot of evidence out there which shows us the limits of natural science. And it will be a quest for us, for researchers all over the world, in the Heliopolis University and the Dignity University, to really search for a new understanding of what is it. 
and how to research life force, soul and spirit. And uh, from the other side, and this is what makes it so important, we all felt here today that we need this dimension to overcome the challenges of the century. We will not find solutions, new innovative solutions for our challenges today without a better, deeper understanding of the human being and all his different levels and souls. And we will not be able to focus on what really matters on planet Earth unless we reconnect to the spiritual part of the world. And so I'm very happy that I joined, I'm very happy that we came to this conclusion, but again, this is only a starting point. From today onwards, all of us here and everywhere in the world should start a new round of research and quests for a deeper understanding of matter and mind. Thank you.